Hey everyone, it's Miss Amy at the Grass Valley Library. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's episode of Random Acts of Science. We're gonna bring you a new science experiment that you can do at home in conjunction with Nevada County Media every week. And this week we're gonna be talking about polymers. So to learn more about those, we're gonna make our own bouncy ball. It's a pretty simple experiment. You're gonna need a few things from home. Um, some warm water, about a half a cup, a tablespoon measuring spoon, um, some kind of bowl or mixing bowl to put it all together in, some Elmer's glue, this is just white Elmer's school glue, a couple tablespoons of that should do it, um, a wooden stir stick or a plastic spoon, something that's disposable because it's going to get full of glue, uh, food coloring if you'd like to use it, kind of makes it more fun, and some borax. So borax is like a cleaning detergent um, that's often found um, in your home, and if you can't find it, you can get some pretty easily at any local store. So let's get started. First, we're gonna fill our bowl with a half a cup of warm water. It's pretty forgiving, these measurements, so don't worry too much if you don't get it exactly right. And then we're gonna add a tablespoon of borax to that water, and we're gonna stir it up pretty good. So let's do that. Move that out of the way. We're gonna dissolve that in there by stirring it all up together. So in this experiment, the glue is the polymer. So we're gonna talk about that in a minute. And the borax is a cross-linker, which is what's gonna change our polymer, which is kind of liquid right now, into something that's a lot more solid. It's a really interesting property of polymers. Okay, so I've got that pretty much stirred up. Um, for our glue, I'm gonna add a little bit of food coloring to that. You can do this experiment several times with the borax in the, um, in the bowl. You just have to add more glue each time and the amount of glue you use is gonna determine how big your bouncy ball is. So I've got my um, food coloring in there. I'm gonna mix it up and it's gonna be nice and blue. You can make a swirly bouncy ball if you want to, uh, but you have to add the food coloring a little bit later in the process because it tends to get all smashed together uh, when you're making your ball. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take the glue and pour it into um, the borax. And you'll see that the borax, as soon as those two things come in contact, the glue and the borax in the water, um, the, the glue starts to harden a bit. So here we go. Pop that right in there. And you can, <laughs> you can see already, it's looking like it's um, a little more solid than it was when we poured it in there. And this is the part where you get to get your hands wet. It's good to have some uh, paper towels handy because it's gonna get a little bit messy. So I'm gonna put my hands in here and I am gonna start smushing this um, glue mixture all up. And you can kind of see on the outside, it's already kind of starting to stick together, but everywhere where the glue comes in contact with the borax, it's gonna change its phase from a liquid to more of a solid. So your job is to squish and squeeze this until all the glue has been squeezed out and has come in contact with the borax. So this might take a minute, it might take 30 seconds, you might wanna do it a little bit longer. Um, whatever works for you, keep going. You can do this more than once, like I said, and it's pretty fun to do. So kind of squeezing it all out here. It's starting to feel a little bit like a, a rubber ball to me, a bouncy ball. And I think that will do it for me. So I've got this big glob of, of um, not so sticky glue. I found that it's super helpful to um, dab at it a little bit with the paper towel and get the extra water off the outside. Okay, and when you're done with that part, we're gonna form it into a ball just by um, rolling it in between our hands. This gets the moisture out. It helps it all stick together a little bit better and um, it's gonna look a lot more like a bouncy ball when we're done. So it's really fun to, to feel this all come together. So let's talk a little bit while I'm doing this um, and when we're done here about what a polymer is. So a polymer is a material like glue um, that's made of long strings of molecules. And those molecules are, mo or you can add onto them and they can grow and grow and grow. Um, let's see, I think my ball is pretty much done. So we're, I'm gonna set it aside and we're gonna come back to that in a second. Um, so those polymers grow and grow and grow. Um, there's, there's, uh, 
polymers that occur naturally in nature. One, one we all have is hair. So your hair continues to grow and grow and grow, and that's because similar molecules can just keep adding on to the end of it. Another one is your fingernails or your toenails. That's the same reason that they're able to grow like that. In um, the man-made world, we make something called plastic and we use it in all kinds of different things, but plastic is a polymer that you heat it up so it's more of a liquid, and then you pour it into a mold or form it into whatever shape you need, and then it becomes more of a solid. So those are examples of some polymers. So what we just did was we took the glue, which is kind of a polymer, right, in a liquid form, and we mixed it in with the borax. So the borax is what's called a cross linker. So let's take a look at what a cross linker does. I'm gonna, we're all gonna pretend that this is um, a long string of molecules, or two of them actually. Let's pretend this is our glue, and our glue pre pretty much can go wherever it wants to go right now. It's got a lot of fluidity, it's like a liquid, right? But when we mix it with the borax, that borax links those strands of polymers together so that they are netted to, knitted together and they for, form something that's a lot more solid, like our bouncy ball. So I'm gonna take that, get inside here, just for the sake of discussion, and we are gonna see what the crosslinkers do. So these uh, paper clips that I'm putting in there right now we're pretending that's the borax. Well, I'll just do the one. And that's gonna link together these molecules. So now when one uh, polymer moves, one uh, set of molecules moves, the other one moves with it. So it's much more of a solid than the liquid that it used to be. And that's how we got our bouncy ball, which is pretty great. I'd say it worked out pretty well. So let's see if we can get this thing to bounce on this tabletop, ready? Perfect. Thank you so much for joining me today. Go ahead and try this experiment at home. Let me know how it works. I hope you enjoyed it and tune in next week for another episode of Random Acts of Science.